Are you a property owner looking for ways to boost your tax benefits? I'm Anthony Main, a tax specialist at Rycroft Glenton, and I want to talk to you about opportunities for property owners, specifically the tax benefits associated with HMRC's furnished holiday letting rules. Under these rules, your property can be classified as a furnished, furnished holiday let if it meets certain criteria. This classification comes with some fantastic tax benefits, and I've got 90 seconds to tell you about these. Let's start the clock. First, you can claim capital allowances which give upfront tax relief on the cost of furniture, appliances and equipment used in your holiday property. This means that you can deduct these costs from your rental income, which wouldn't be the case for your average residential let. Better still, you can claim capital allowances on a proportion of the price you paid for the property itself. So, for example, if you bought a cottage for £250,000, you might be able to claim up to £50,000 in capital allowances, which, not to put too fine a point on it, is £50,000 worth of tax-free rental profit. Second, if your property qualifies as a furnished holiday let, it might be eligible for certain capital tax benefits. Qualifying holiday accommodation can be sold at up to less than half the normal capital gains tax rate. Gains on the disposal of residential property attract tax rates of up to 28% but qualifying holiday accommodation can qualify as a business asset with a flat 10% rate of capital gains tax. If you're not currently letting residential property as a qualify qualifying holiday accommodation, you might still be able to bring it into use as a holiday let going forward to access the 10% rate of capital gains tax. Certain assets are exempt from inheritance tax. Qualifying holiday accommodation can meet the required criteria, but this can be hugely difficult to achieve. However, Qualifying properties can lend themselves to helping you reduce inheritance tax exposure because it's often possible to give them to, say, your children or a trust for your family benefit using holdover relief to avoid capital gains tax liabilities that would otherwise come about when making such a gift. Effectively, you can often get what are valuable assets out of your ownership with no immediate tax consequence, thus reducing your inheritance tax exposure in the future. 